hey, welcome to my channel and to another way in. I kind of feel like this is going to be a short video because I was thinking, what could we talk about? But I don't really know much else to talk about except the baby. <laughs> the baby. And we'll probably hear some school buses because it's that time of the morning. School bus. Listen, let me tell you, it feels so good out here. It's like 54 degrees and it's only supposed to be in the 80s today. I think Mother Nature is teasing me. So let's do this way in. Hold on a minute. All right. I weighed in this morning at 324.4 for a gain of 1.6. And that keeps me at 52.7. Now, I did not know whether to expect a gain or a loss. I've not been off plan. That's, see, that's the whole time. I'll tell you this. I was looking. Um, hold on, my neighbor's leaving. I hadn't been out here in a while because, you know, I had Sebastian for three weeks. And so there was no coming out here because I would have to, well, the first week I had him overnight. So he was here in the morning, so I couldn't get in here. I was doing it in the room. And then after that, I had to go have him picked up at like 7 o'clock. So <laughs> anyway, I just had not been out on the porch. And I think some of the other days before that, I would run errands and it'd be too late and it'd be scorching hot out here. And I'm like, go sit out here in the sun, blasting in on me over here. So feels good to be back on the porch. Now, where were we? Oh, I did the math. For August, I lost 10 point something pounds. I can't remember what the point was. So, I think having done that in August, this gain's not going to throw me because we all know our journeys are full of ups and downs. And I had a lot more ups in August. I think I had one one um, gain and one stay the same, or either just one stay the same, something like that. Anyway. Um, I'm not off track, hadn't been off track since I started low carb, just this past, I can't remember if it was last wait period or this wait period, we had pizza and wings, and then we ate out another time that the pizza and wings night was on a very emotional day. Uh, a physically tiring day and so we just gave in because we're human like that and but we ate out a couple other times um, a few times we just didn't care we, we just you know whatever but the thing is I didn't like overeat I just ate some things that probably weren't the best for me and with Sebastian here, I did more snacking than I would do because he had snacks here. And y'all know, if snacks are in my house, I like don't have any um, willpower over them. Well, I'll say I do too. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had any for himself. So I do have some willpower. But if there's plenty and there's extra, <laughs> like I did... Um, have one pack of his little donuts. That's the only, I told you before, I think, I already told you, that's only one little pack, one little pack of four donuts. And they were little Debbie donuts, the little powdered sugar donuts. So you know that was some willpower right there. He had donuts pretty much every day he was here. I, I kept the boy in donuts. <laughs> I showed you his picture last week, I think. Did I not? I did. But he had all them donuts on the... Oh, here's one of them loud trucks. I feel like I'm cutting away and coming back more than I'm sitting here, but this is a busy time of morning. Everybody's getting where they're going. But with him here, I ate more snacks. We split some macaroni and cheese one day and just different little things like that. Listen, I'm about to get aggravated. <laughs> I'm about to get aggravated this morning with all this traffic. I know somebody I know somebody out there getting irritated, but you know what? I can't help it. I live on a busy corner. And and I told you before, it's just a little neighborhood. 
it's just it's just a small little neighborhood. It's not big at all. But the amount of traffic, well, our side road over here is, is a cut through for, is a cut through. Um, but here is the, go away with my paper. Here's the good news of the week. Y'all already saw my video that Jacob was born. Well, I got to meet him yesterday. Oh, he's the sweetest little thing. Now, Holly told me, she goes, He's very clingy. He, he wants to do nothing but eat and snuggle. Nobody else. Just me. She says, so you might not get to hold him long because he's just fussy like that. Well, she come in and she said, you want to hold him? I'm like, yeah, you know. And he did start fussing. And he's a, got a little jaundice that, that developed. And so... Um, they gave her some kind of formula to give him that's supposed to help. And so he, he tried to take that a little bit, and he didn't. So he went back over to her, and then he got satisfied, and I got him back. And I told David, I said, he, he went to sleep. I told David, I said, well, you want to hold him before he gets back fussy again? He goes, yeah, he wants to see his grandbaby. He held him for so long, and that little baby just slept and slept. He makes these little, like he's trying to wake up, but he's not. And then he he furls at you like he's staring at the sun. <laughs> he, he, he just gives you that look, and that's it. I said, he'll grow into his smile, but it helped Holly. She, they, they got some food and brought it, and she got to sit down, have a, a minute's peace, have a meal, take a little break. And he's just the sweetest things, and I, I'll insert some pictures at the end. But I was going to tell you another thing that I think is helping my um, eating. I'm going to sit here and drink coffee and let y'all read my mind. That's what we're going to do the whole rest of the video. <laughs> y'all can listen to cars drive by and read my mind. What I was going to tell you was one thing that I think has really helped me. Oh, here comes the school bus. We stopping for sure. Okay, so what was I saying? You heard it squealing brakes. One thing that I think is helping me you know what they say? They say, drink a big old glass of water before you eat. It'll help you eat less. Well, I've tried that before and it don't work. I guess it's just something about water is not satisfying to me. But I love almond milk. I didn't think I ever did until I started Weight Watchers. And you know how you substitute regular milk all the time with almond milk because it's lower in points and you just do. Well, I started drinking it. And then before you know it, I'm drinking over a gallon a week. Well, only a gallon a week because I just buy a gallon. I told David I'm fixing to be up to a two-gallon habit. I drink regular milk. Even when I was on Weight Watchers and counting points, I, I didn't count points for milk. No. Not count points for milk. Milk is healthy. It's good for your bones. It's good for your vitamin D. I drink my milk. I drink my almond milk. I have so many medicines that give me this dry, nasty mouth. So, when I'm over there in the kitchen cooking supper, I'll pour me either a glass of milk or nine times out of ten is a glass of almond milk. Sometimes I'll guzzle two glasses down while I'm cooking. No joke. So, by the time it's time to eat, I don't even half eat my supper. Sometimes I'm just not even hungry. Like last night, I didn't eat a bite of supper. I just made a little bit of popcorn because that's all I wanted because I had drunk that almond milk. So, it fills me up and then another thing I used to have a problem eating late at night but with David's hours he goes in later so we eat later we don't eat until 8 o'clock because he's not out of the shower until 8, 8, 15 and so by then I'm in my chair OMG these cars are going to give me a nervous breakdown I am in my chair sleeping Sometimes I'm asleep when he gets out the door at a quarter of a mile, and that ain't no joke. And 
Then as soon as he gets out the door, I'm asleep at 9 o'clock. And then here I am back up again at 3 o'clock. Nothing to do, so... <laughs> Nothing to do except go to my craft room, sit there and work a while. And then I, I, I just finished um, Longmire. If you've never, well, I've already watched it when it was new. I watched it. And I've watched it on Netflix. And I watched it again. I've been getting Criminal Minds on TV about four days a week. So when I'm in there in the early mornings, instead of putting it on Netflix, I put Longmire on there. So it just finished up today. <sighs> Balling my eyes out this morning. I, I bawled for the past few days because it was the last season and they, they were wrapping up all the storylines. And you know, people were dying and people were doing this, people were doing that. And oh my gosh. An emotional roller coaster, but I used to call him my TV husband. <laughs> Longmire was my TV husband. Whew. That is a good looking man. If you ain't never seen um, that show, you, you go check it out. It's a western because it's set in Wyoming, and he's he's just just a, a country cowboy sheriff. It's good. It is real good. It gets you sucked into it. But I watched it when it was on TV, and I was so sad. I remember, matter of fact, one of my um, um, Facebook memories, not too long back, I don't think it was, was my best friend sending me a thing that said, Long Mile was canceled. I went in the morning, and then Netflix picked it up, I think, for a Two more seasons, maybe? Oh, hold on. Boy, they have, I think they call it Wyoming Days or Longmire Days or something. Up in Wyoming, I think is where it's at. If I wasn't scared to get on an airplane, I'd be up there. I'll tell you what, if I ever get my new knees, I'm liable to put a blindfold on and tell David to leave me up on an airplane and take me up to the Longmire Days. What I wouldn't give to get in line and get there um, autographs and get my picture took with Robert Taylor. <laughs> Not the Robert Taylor of the old days. He's he's the current Robert Taylor. <laughs> but he, I think he's from Australia. So the fact that he hides that accent, he does good. But whew, he he. <laughs> I didn't know he's gonna get to talking about him this morning. But anyway, I just finished that up. Right now I got um which I'm such a creature of habit I think because when I'm back there working in the craft room I don't want to put on anything new because I can't pay attention to it I think that's why um, I watch Criminal Minds so much well besides this is the best TV show ever created is I got it like so committed to memory I can do other things and just have it on in the background and be happy with it Whereas if I start something new, I have to sit still and just watch it so I don't miss nothing. And I have trouble doing that. If I sit down and I start watching something, I'll fall asleep. So I try to I try to keep doing something all day, even if it's just sitting in my craft room. Um, but right now I got Queen, the show must go on. Because I'm going to tell you what, I love me some Queen. I love Freddie Mercury. It's so sad of his passing. Listen, I'm going to tell you another thing. I love Adam Lambert. The season he was on American Idol, I missed the first, like, where they do their auditions, um, like in the cities, you know. But I caught it up on, like, group day, whatever, before they go to Hollywood when they go, go for the groups. And I was watching it, and the, the the group he was in came on, and he started singing. And I told David, I said, well, I see the winner of American Idol. I, I got my favorite. The boy could sing a phone book, and I'd listen to him. He come in second. I think it come out that the phones were rigged. It was a controversy behind the whole thing. But you know what? He had the last laugh because he's made it big. And then he started here, you know, how many years back, touring with Queen. Well, he, he did a cover of Queen on American Idol. And I, I don't know if that's how they found him. I don't know the exact whole story. But he, he's 
traveled with Queen and what I wouldn't give to see that concert. OMG, what I wouldn't give to see two of my favorites together. So anyway, there's a documentary. It's been out a while because I've already watched it. But I put it on again, letting it play back there. And I was having a hard time doing anything because I didn't want to miss nothing again the second time around. So that that's what I've been doing. And I've started my Halloween journal. I wanted to work on it. I got a, a paper pad coming from Michael's. So I don't really have all the papers that I want to go in it yet. But I've been working on them. And I'll tell you what. I am debating getting me a new sewing machine. This one I got, I probably had since the 80s. I've had it serviced, but it just keeps messing up. I changed the tension, I changed the bobbin tension, and it works fine for a while, and it goes back to messing up. Well, yesterday and today, the little thing, you know where you put the bobbin in, there's a little thing that goes around it. It has started being loose, and so that needle will hit it and lock up and I just about can't get it loose to come back out. So I was looking this morning thinking about getting me a new sewing machine because you sew on the paper. You sew the um, ruffles and the lace and ribbons and stuff like that. You sew on the paper. I'm going to have to go in and take a nerve pill. <laughs> I don't have any extras. This one that I take. Oh, Lord, that school bus is turning. Oh, no. Somebody's got a flat tire, and he's just driving down the road with his blinkers on. Dude, you better stop. You're going to be on rims. Can you hear it? He come by when the school bus came by, but I heard something flapping, and I saw it. He must live down there somewhere. When you have a flat tire, you stop because when he's running on rims, what's he going to do? You better stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, PSA for today. If you get a flat tire, please stop. If you don't know how to change it, call somebody that does. Don't keep driving on it. Just don't. Anyway, I told you about RJ's air conditioner falling off. Bless his heart. I don't know what he's going to do about that. Well, something of it. Something of it fell off. Something fell off his vehicle. But in his air conditioner, don't work, so it's kind of a funny kawinky dink. But that school bus driver, he had a paper in his hand. He was reading that paper. He must be new on that route. Listen, y'all remember back in high school? I don't know if y'all's high school did it, but you can even look in our yearbook. Our high school, the um, seniors drove bus, buses. There was the school bus club just for the um, kids that drove school buses. They wouldn't allow that today for love nor money. And I don't know that I would let my child on the bus that a, a student driver was driving, but we had them. Did y'all have them? Let me know. I'm curious. That was in the 70s, the late 70s, because I graduated in 80. So it was the late 70s when I was in high school. Our high school started in the ninth grade, uh, 10th grade, 10, 11, and 12. And then after I quit, then they started adding the ninth grade to it. The way we went to school in my town is you had an elementary school. When I went to school, you had an elementary school, one through six. You had just one school that was seventh grade because you had like five or six elementary schools in the whole town. And then all of those elementary schools come together in one seventh grade school. And then, oh, a bird just landed on my um, thingy, my rail. And then you went with the seventh to the eighth and ninth grade school building, which was on the campus of the high school. And then you went to high school, 10, 11, and 12. So then I left, and over the years it has evolved. And so the way it works now in town is you still have the same elementary schools. Then all those elementary schools stop it. Hello. They stop at fifth grade. And then they go to the 6th grade, no, I th they got it so convoluted. And then the 7th and 8th grade is together. I think the 6th grade is in one school, the 7th and 8th grade is in one school. 
one's intermediate, that's that six, and then middle, seventh, and eighth, and then high school is nine, 10, 11, 12. <sighs> it's a mess when you try to cram everything in one town. Now, the next town over, they got, you know, different middle schools, different high schools, and everything, but right here in my little old town, we just got everything up in one. So, oh well, I got some, got some good old loud birds. The other one's coming up to him. I think they fix him to have a powwow. <laughs> Don't you love it? I'd rather hear them than all these plastic cars. I know that much. So I think that's all I know for today. I had a gain. I ain't, I ain't sweating it. I'll get back. I'll have a loss next week. Listen, I'll probably have a loss tomorrow. Oh, I'll speak of tomorrow. Let me tell you that. I go and get fitted for my knee braces. And I looked on their website and they look like the Bionic Man. <laughs> braces they're not compression sleeves they are yeah I don't know what I'm getting in for but you know what if I had to walk around I already walk around like the tin man if I had to walk around like the tin man with bionic legs then I'll do it if it will stabilize them it's not gonna fix them if, by any stretch of the imagination but if it'll stabilize them and when I'm getting up and down if it maybe will keep them from kicking out sideways and grinding out from under each other, you know what I mean? So I have to travel up there to do that. So I got a, got a road trip coming tomorrow, which means that's the town that me and RJ found that little just hole in the wall thrift store. So probably gonna be a thrift haul tomorrow. If they got anything, if they ain't got nothing, then they won't be no thrift haul. The bad part is I can't get up the steps to see the books. So there won't be no books in this one. RJ had to help me up the steps because they're kind of steep and had to help me down. So I'm bummed about that, but I'll look, I'll look at everything else and see if I can find anything. I hope everything's still 50% off. I hope that's their um, usual, which I think they just mark everything up. Tell you it's 50% off and you think you get the deal and you buy more. <laughs> Works on me. So. All right, well, I'm going to close it up. That was a nice, quiet car. Why can't they all be like that? So I'm going to close it up. I'm going to leave you with just a couple pictures of Jacob. And I will see you in my next video.